My name is Jason and welcome to Tech Tuesdays where we talk about gaming and tech space. Have you ever seen somebody beat a video game with just their mind? Well, this Twitch streamer just beat two other ring bosses with mind control. Twitch streamer Perry Carriol has defeated two major Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree bosses using a hands-free controller which decodes electrical information fed directly from her brain with in mind real controls. time. The way that it works is that this EEG on my head picks up the electrical activity coming from my brain. And when you visualize different things, Things, your pattern of brain activity is different. So for example, this is what my brain looks like when I'm talking to you now, roughly, roughly, because I'm doing loads of different things and I'm moving around a lot and I'm thinking and doing different skills, it keeps fluttering and changing. But if you do one specific thing, so for example, visualizing pushing something forward, your brain looks a certain way. So I'll do that now and watch the brain activity change. The software that I'm using basically remembers these patterns of brain activity. And then when it says over a certain threshold, hey, you're doing that thing that you reminded me to remember that you can do, then that remembrance <laughs> is a key binding to whatever I want. So for these ones- Shadow of the Earth Tree is a newly released DLC for Elden Ring, and many players think it's just too difficult, following the already difficult main game. Even from software president Hiditaka Mizuyaki said, we really pushed the envelope in terms of what we think can be withstood by the player. Carryall has been using an electronic encephalography or EEG headset for short, to control character actions like running, jumping, and attacking. Normally this is the Device is used in the medical field by doctors as a diagnosis tool. But while studying for her master's degree in psychology, Carriol wondered if she could use this headset for gaming. Carriol also learned a coding software where her EEG headset could read what her brain was thinking and then input that into the game. For example, she would imagine herself doing actions like running, dodging, pushing objects, and attacking, and then the headset would read her brain waves and translate them into inputs. This isn't the first time that video games have been beaten with unconventional methods and untraditional controllers. Many streamers will have many different methods of playing video games to attract viewers and gain attention. Other players have beaten Elden Ring with a dance pad and PS5 controller or another gamer using an electric saxophone to beat the game. One YouTuber even taught their goldfish how to play Elden Ring. All of these methods involve some type of software that captures either the physical or sometimes virtual inputs of these devices and turns them into actions into the video game. It's truly amazing what technology and creative minds can accomplish together. I'm Jason Sanford with Wire Media and this has been Tech Tuesday.